our month for um, Father's Day. My father used to have kind of a little talent for naming pets, and I have kind of a little talent for naming books. I don't write them, but I have this thing for naming them, and I think somebody should write a book about the PLC entitled Stickers in My Socks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a, a fascinating book <laughs> some, some years ago, and, and it was very popular, and it was named Fascinating Womanhood, and it was written for women so that they would understand their men better. And uh, it was saying that m women and men think differently, and so uh, they, their emotional needs are different. And that women need... Um, to hear I love you and they would like to hear with that I love you forever for no reason at all and because you're absolutely the only one possible and this yeah. book is telling them that that men not so much on the I love you thing it's more um, they would like to have admiration for their strength. You know how little boys go, look mom? Admiration for their strength, appreciation for their protection, and appreciation for the providing that they do for their family. So um, they're also telling the women that if they would give that more, they would get more spontaneous I love you's. Now, it might not be quite the whole ball of wax that they would like that oh, I love you to mean, like forever and ever and you're the only one. Might be tainted a little bit with I love you because you tell me how wonderful I am. <laughs> but, anyway. so, um, I have this friend who is who has the happiest marriage that I know of. And she's been married for a long time and she has uh, grown children who have children of their own. And she met her husband... Um, when they both worked for the Forest Service, and they still both work for the Forest Service. And she was the first lady firefighter in California, and she wrote a book about that. In fact, on our retreat, we had eight authors. That is amazing. Uh, but anyway, she wrote a book about <coughs> her adventures, and she went with us on the retreat, and on the way home, we stopped in Exeter, and um, I mean, we stopped in at Reamers in uh, Three Rivers, and that's an ice cream store. And if you ever stop at, at Reamers, try turtle ice cream. It's the best. And it's connected to a um, candy store and a, and a little boutique. And outside and back, they have a, a big balcony that you can sit out there and look at the river, watch the ducks go by while you eat your ice cream. So it's really a fun thing to do. My friend likes to buy the cards there. Uh, and so she bought this card for her husband. And she was going to, uh, she was writing a note to him, to take to him when she got home. And it was saying how much she appreciates that he let, he's okay with her going with her friends on weekends whenever she wants to. And she does the same thing for him. They do quite a bit of stuff separately on weekends and it works fine with them both getting to do what they want. And how much she appreciates how he provides for the family. I got... Uh, I got an email the other day that to me symbolizes so much about male-female relationships in classic old-fashioned style. There's this cat sitting up on the roof and she's looking down the road. And pretty soon down the road comes this big shaggy dog and he stops by the gate and the cat runs down and meets him and then this dog takes this cat for a walk. And then they come back and he drops her off and he goes on down the road and every day this dog comes at the same time. Doesn't that make you go, oh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh.